Hey, everybody. Um, hold on a minute. I got to get my headphones. Uh, Hello, people. Oh, all right. Let me check off who's here and wait for more people to come in. Can you hear Josh? me? Yeah, I can hear you, Josh. Okay. Can you hear me? No. Yeah, who said that? It's a lot of people I can't see, though. Can you see me? Hello. Hello. Hi. Parker, you have a beach in your bedroom. Hey guys. Oh, hello, Chloe. I haven't seen you in a while. Hi, Parker. My Chloe, computer has not turning on. And Hi, I'm Chloe. You guys, can you guys hear each other? Yes. Okay, you can talk yes. for a minute while I write, I keep track of who's logged in. Okay, so give me a, give me a couple minutes. Hi, Hi Chloe. Hi. Where does Jackson Hopkins Parker? Parker. Hi, Laura. Okay. Uh -huh. Today is my birthday. Today's your birthday. Yeah. Happy birthday, Lara. Happy birthday. Yeah. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Lara. I'm given money. You're getting old, Lara. <laughs> Miss Karen. Yeah. I'm 20. I know. I heard you say that. That's pretty darn old, Lara. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I have, yeah. I might not be able to talk that much because I have a short drill. Oh, you do? Yeah. Okay. All right, I'm just letting Michael Barbary in. Hey, Michael Barbary. Hello. Okay. I don't oh. think I hear me. And here comes Ian Agello. I don't know how to type in the chat. I don't know how to type Never mind. It's fine. It's too loud where you are. Did anybody have to set their alarm to make sure they were up for this, or do you guys get no. up kind of early now? I was actually I get up, up at, at four. around eight, so. No. Who said they get up at four? Me. What the heck? Who's me? I can't tell. Oh, Eddie? No. Who? Kaden. Kaden, what the heck? Really? Yes. Why? Do you just wake up naturally at four? Yes. Mm. Do you have a lot of windows in your room? No, I only have one window. Oh. I didn't sleep at all. Who is that mysterious person? Which one? The one Where that's covered in a shadow? Karen? Does it say yeah. Karen? It's Karen Huertas. There's another Karen. I, know, I, was, I was kidding. I could see the name. Uh, there's two Karens. Yes, there are. Are you trying to remember the, the mouse? They look like a mysterious figure hiding in the shadows. Oh, okay, Kaden, I like what you just did. All right, so I'll go ahead and start. 
So we're going to talk about chapter four. So let's do a um, just first a synopsis of what happened in chapter four. So we find out pretty soon in the chapter that the boys now have been there for a little while. It doesn't say exactly how long, but we know they've been there for some amount of time. We're not at the very beginning of things anymore. Um, and then we have two of the boys, Roger and Maurice, who we haven't heard from much. Hold on, I'm letting Caleb in and Carson. Hey guys, Caleb. Oh, Miss Karen. Hello. I dyed my hair. Where, let's see. Where are you? It's lighter. I have to use my, sorry I'm late, Miss Karen. I just have to use my phone. Oh, it's okay. Who dyed their hair? I can't tell who's saying it. Me. But you're saying me, but I can't tell who it is. I did. I think it's Christian. Yeah. It's Christian. Oh, Christian. Where are you, Christian? I can't even, there's so many people on, I can't find you. Oh, there you are. Oh, it looks really blonde. Yeah, I wanted to turn blonde when I because I used to have this color when I was a kid. Ah, it looks pretty good. Yeah. All right, so back to the synopsis of what happened in Chapter 4. So two boys that we haven't really seen much from, but we have heard of them. It's uh, Roger and Maurice. They, they, are qui they were choir boys, so they're like kind of Jack's boys, and they're fire watchers too. You know how Jack's boys are the hunters and the fire watchers. So they come out of the forest. And they walk up to the beach where there's a bunch of the little kids. Hold on, I'm letting Salvati in. Is that both Salvati's? Is it both Salvati's or just Gavin? Okay, well, tell. I'll never know. All right, so um, they come up to the beach where some little ones are playing on the beach and they're building sandcastles. And what do Roger and Maurice do when they come up to the little kids? Who can tell me? They introduce them? No. So? No. What do they do when they come up to the little kids playing, up, building sandcastles on the beach? It's not very nice what they do. Those are the kids that bully them, right? Yeah. Don't they destroy the sandcastle? They destroy the sandcastles. They walk right through the middle of it, kick them over, and laugh about it. Um, and then Roger even takes it further, and he starts throwing rocks at some of the boys. Yeah, yeah, he starts throwing rocks. Yeah, yeah, that was uncalled for. Yeah, and he's throwing rocks at them, but he's deliberately missing them, okay? Because so we'll talk he, he can't grapple, because he's having memories of how he used to be. He okay. just feels like he can't hit them. Like, he, like he just can't, like, morally do it? Is that what you mean? Like, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to talk about that in a little bit. That's true. Meanwhile, while that's going on, Jack is off on his own. I think there's a couple other boys around. And what is what is he what is he doing with some clay and some charcoal? What is he doing? I think he's putting it on his face, right? He's painting he's his, face, his face, yes. and I think maybe even his body, because he's he's decided that the reason that he's been unsuccessful in um, being okay. able to kill a pig is because they can see him. So he feels like, oh, if I camouflage myself, I can sneak up on them better and I'll be more likely to, to make the kill. So he's getting all painted up, which mm -hmm. we're going to talk about that in a minute because that has, of course, deeper meaning than just the surface meaning that I just said. And while that's going on, uh, hold on. This is Chris, but I don't know. Who's Chris? Chris who? Chris who? Who is our Chris? Is it? Chris, where are you? You left. They're There's, still there. They are, but, no, but it's I don't not. It it Chris left the meeting. Oh, it does say left the meeting? I don't have it. I don't have that note. Okay. So, um, so while Jack's getting painted up and Roger and Maurice are terrorizing the little ones, Ralph is on the beach with Peggy and what do they see out in the distance? A boat. Oh, no, 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 wait. The fire. Oh, see a boat. Ship. They see. Oh, no, a boat. The, it was a boat. They I, see yeah. the smoke. They see the, like ship smoke out in the distance. And they're, and they're yelling, come back, come back. Yes. Right? And they look up oh, and they the like to check out. the, they check, they go look up to check the signal fire. Signal fire has gone out. So they're freaking yeah. out and they're running up. They're running as fast as they can to get up to the to where the signal fire is before the ship goes by. Karen, but you froze. Yeah. I froze? <laughs> oh no. Karen, that EXE has stopped working. 
everybody froze. No, we can't even hear you. Really? Okay, how about now? Hi, Cassie. Did it, did it unfreeze? Oh! Did it unfreeze? <laughs> Yeah, uh, I your audio on freeze. You were sounding like you were sounding like a robot. <laughs> really? Oh, okay. oh, there we go. Okay. Are we back? Let's see here. Oh, it's right here. Okay, thank goodness. Working. Hello. Let's see. Hello. Hello. Okay. But you can hear me. So we were talking about how the signal fire went out. Yes. Now I think I I've lost my thing that shows me when new people try to come in. So let me, there we go. Okay. All right. So yeah, so they, they run up there because the signal fire has gone mm -hmm. out. They want to get the signal fire. <laughs> hey, oh, everybody. No. Every no. time she tries to explain it. I'm going to have to mute everybody. It, it, everyone, it doesn't like her. Okay. It, no, it doesn't. Okay, it's you're, frozen you're, again? Your Ooh. camera is very much lagging. Hmm. That. Nothing to see. And, and your audio is also lagging. I, I can't, I, you're not saying anything. No, I'm just kind of waiting. Can you hear me okay? How about yeah. now? Yeah, we can hear you. Bit better. Okay, well, I'm just going to keep talking, okay? And okay. we'll see what happens. Right. And if it, if it okay, goes it's out. Okay, starting to unfreeze, but yeah, it's starting to unfreeze. <laughs> All right, so they freak out they run up to try to get the fire started again but they are definitely not in time the ship has gone yeah ralph is crazy angry at this point because that fire should not have gone out this was their this was an unbelievable chance for rescue right yeah okay so while they're there where the signal fire was supposed to be burning who comes to the signal fire who who enters the scene I think Jack, right? Yeah, Jack um, and the boys. And they just finished their pig hunt, and I believe they killed the pig. And they are carrying a pig on a stake, and they are chanting something over and over. And it goes I like this. I think it was like, kill the pig, spill the blood, cut yeah. the throat. Kill the pig, that. cut her throat, spill the blood. Kill the pig, cut her throat, spill the blood. So they're chanting Jeez. this violent thing over and over, and they're obviously super excited because they've killed a pig and they're carrying it on the stake. So they arrive at the fire where Ralph and the other boys are right now. So Ralph, of course, starts yelling at them because they've let the fire go out. Yeah. Tells them that there was a ship and that they missed the ship because... They did not do their job by keeping the fire going. And Piggy speaks up, too, to say something to Jack about it, to chastise him. And what, does, what is Jack's response when Piggy speaks to him about it? He pushes well, he, him to the ground and breaks his glasses. Okay. Yeah. And just he first, him, go ahead. Goes like, and then just kind of sends him off. First, he, he punches him in the glasses. stomach. And then he hits him in the head. And when he hits he him in the head... Him. He belittles him. Yeah. And when he, he well, more than belittles him, I mean, he's violent with him. So yeah. when he hits him in the head, Piggy's glasses go flying off. And what happens? He screams. One of his lenses, one of his lenses one side breaks. One of his lenses, one of his lenses breaks. Now, it's significant. I'm going to talk about it in a minute. But the fact that only one lens broke means something. There's a significance to it. So hold on for that. We'll talk about it in a minute. Okay, so after all this happens, Jack ends up, believe it or not, Jack ends up apologizing to whom? Who does he apologize to? Piggy. Definitely not, not Piggy. Not Piggy, not Piggy. Not Ralph. 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 He apologizes to Ralph, but only after he can see that Ralph is so mad that he's about to start fighting Jack. Jack apologizes to him, but he does not ever apologize to Piggy. So that's very telling right there, isn't it? Yeah. 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 So in that particular scene, Ralph definitely comes out as the clear leader of the two. You know how those two are, are kind of in a power struggle to be leader? Even, yeah. though, even though Ralph has officially been voted in, Jack wants the power. He wants to be in charge. Hold on. I'm letting Chris Moore in. Chris Moore. Hey, Chris. Oh, he's not in yet. Can you guys see me now? Mm -hmm. uh, yes. so I came back. Okay. Yes. All right. Hey, Chris Moore. Okay. So Ralph comes out as the clear leader. They build a new fire so they can roast the pig. Once the pig is roasted and ready to eat, Jack will not give any of the pig meat to one of the boys. Who is it that he will not let have any meat? 
Piggy. 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 Yeah, that's a pretty, a pretty so obvious one. Right? Yeah. No piggy. So Piggy is very upset about this because obviously he's hungry and he wants some and um, Jack is being so cruel. But somebody does give him some of their portion of the pig meat. Mm -hmm. Who does that? Simon. Simon, the Simon. one that we've Simon. seen has this um, kindness to him, this good side to him. And um, then the Jack um, on took the meat and threw it at Simon's feet. And saying, then say, say that again. He took the meat from Piggy. I mean, not Simon. Jack did. He took the meat from Piggy and then threw it at Simon's feet. Mm -hmm. So they eat it. So while, yes, so while they are eating this pig, or while the boys are happily eating this pig, Jack very happily starts telling the story of the kill, which, you know, he's just been living for this. So he is excited Justin. to telling the story oh, of the kill. Your entire thing again. again. Even right. your audio. All right. Hello. All right. Hello. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Somebody <laughs> tell me. When, I'm going to keep talking. Hello. Somebody tell me when they can hear me again. Hello. Yeah, I'm about to see and go back to bed. Hold oh. on. Can you hear me yet? <laughs> yeah, we can yeah. hear you. You can hear me again? It's starting to break up. Okay. All right. I'll give it another second to stabilize. You to you. There you go. Yeah? Yeah, it's starting to stabilize again. Can you see me again? No. <laughs> okay. How about now? Uh, no. No, lagging, yeah, a little, but little bit more, but can this hear is you better. Okay. Everything might be a thing with your camera. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I've had perfectly successful Zoom meetings. I don't know why this one's acting so weird. So this is the first time this has happened, actually. So anyway, wait, somebody else wants in. Let's see who that uh, is. Chase. All right, Chase, hello. I wonder if it's because there's so Jesus. many people. Right. Okay. For Jesus. Anyway, back to it. So Jack is now telling the story, the very exciting story oh, about I the can't kill. Can't see you at all. Can you hear me? I think that's the whole point. Amanda, can you hear me? Oh my gosh. Preparing your uh, camera. How about now? Uh oh, she's gonna go crazy. Kaden, nice. <laughs> we'll be right back. How about now? <laughs> Can you hear me? How okay. about? Can you hear me? Yeah. yeah. Yes. No, okay. not really. All right. Um, I'm going to keep talking as fast as I can. Okay. Can you hear me? Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. yeah. So, while they're eating, Jack is telling the story of the kill, and the boys are getting really excited and worked up about it. And they have, they, Jack just has everybody's complete attention. They are so riveted by this story. And that, gets Ralph really mad, and he's all worked up anyway. So he calls a meeting, he's wreck it. and he's then like, goes Garrett, down, storm. When I go down that hill, I'm gonna blow the con cell, and you better be there. Yes, so he's called a I meeting, like and that's where the chapter ends. Episodes. So that's where the chapter Ms. ends. So now let's go back and Ms. look Karen. at some, yes. He's gonna wreck it. <laughs> yeah, so now let's go back and see what, happened like what what some of these things mean that we just talked about it's so nice. at this point you know the little you know how there's a bunch of little kids there yeah, yeah. do we know any of them no not really. do we uh, hear about any of them do we they... have a little kid one we have a little kid two we have a little kid three, exactly little kid so yeah. they are very very um Those not little kids were important anyway <laughs> they're they're nope. not treated as important and what that means is that it's it's looking right now like it's just a regular society where you have all the, the little kids who represent the faceless masses of people. And then you have the older boys, some in particular, who are emerging as leaders. So you see how in society you have all of us who are just the faceless people in a society and you have the leaders. Mm -hmm. Well, that's what's happening here. And that's what the little kids represent. Um, Ralph, Simon, and Piggy, still represent the idea that power should be used for the good of the whole group and the protection of the little kids. And that's a very civilized that's attitude, please. right? But Jack and Roger, they believe that the people, whoever holds the power should get to do whatever they want. 
No, that's not a bad idea. They should be able to gratify their own desires at any time, whatever they want. They can act on their impulses, all that. And the, those guys, Jack's people, they treat the little kids as servants or as, you know, something to make them to, for their amusement. You know, they kind of are mean to them and it makes them laugh. So they are, they're awful, aren't they? Yeah. Okay. So anyway, the fire, keep this in mind as you keep going, that fire symbolizes something. It symbolizes their connection to civilization. So what does it mean if the fire goes out? They lot. Falling apart. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's like a disconnection. But then they'll get they got it going again. So what is the fact that it's like on off, on off tells us what? Light switch. Light switch. That is unstable. <laughs> Society. It's unstable, and it's, it's like it hasn't found which way it's going yet. It's kind of a back and forth thing. It hasn't completely gone one way or the other. Correct. All right, so the fact that Ralph is so mad shows that he still wants to do what's best for the group. He doesn't like how Jack is, is handling things. But Jack is so excited about killing that pig that he's not, he, as usual, he's not even hearing what Ralph is saying. He's not listening. He doesn't even care that they weren't rescued, apparently, because he's had this great victory that he's been wanting so much. His bloodlust and his thirst for power have overwhelmed his desire to have civilization. So you know how the strong boys are bullying the weak boys more and more. We see that right at the beginning of this chapter with what Maurice and um, who's the other one? Roger and Maurice do with okay. the little kids on the beach. So that is tying in directly to the disintegration of civilization. The more bullying you see, the less civilization you have. Okay. Uh, and since the beginning, who have they bullied right from the start? Who was the first person and they've still bullied this person? Piggy. Piggy. Yes. They've never stopped bullying Piggy. Whenever they want to feel powerful and important, they, bu they bully Piggy because they can get away with it. But now the, it's getting ramped up. When he hits Piggy, that's going to the next level of bullying, right? And then some of the other hunters, like Roger, they that's seem even cooler. Vegan because of how they're doing mean stuff to the little kids. That's, that's really low. Did I freeze? Mm -hmm. Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah. It's so good, you know. Okay, so um, Ralph can't understand Jack's point of view. Jack can't understand Ralph and his boy's point of view. So that distance between them is widening. It's getting, it's getting even worse. Those two just can't see eye to eye. All right, so the last thing I want to do is ask a couple of questions about what we just talked about. So when Roger threw the rocks at the little boy on the beach, why do you think he was deliberately missing hitting the boy? What does that mean? Somebody did that address he that. Has he sort of stabilized yet? It's kind of getting to him. That's right. That's right. He still got a heart. And so now picture Jack painting himself up, right? Painting himself, painting himself. What do you think him painting himself might mean on a deeper level? He's trying to become a warrior and stuff. Like, but go, uh, well, yes, but that's on the surface leader. level. But go deeper than that. What do you think? He's trying that, to hide himself. He's yes. He's being a new Jack. He's being oh. a new Jack. And he can hide behind paint and be whoever he wants. Cameo. So he can right. easily yeah. let go of who he's supposed to be, who he's grown up learning he's supposed to be, how you act in a society. And with that paint on, it's like, it's like it gives him free reign to be somebody new. So that paint is very symbolic. Um, and he's, he's allowing him to do things that he wouldn't normally do, like the violence and the meanness and, and those kinds of things. Um, let's see. Okay, we talked about that. And we talked about, well, I, no, I don't know if I did talk about this. So the symbolism of only one of Piggy's glasses oh. breaking. Because what do Piggy's glasses symbolize? We talked about that week one. Do you remember? What symbolizes intelligence. Intellectual, Mark. intelligence, Mark. intellectualism, Mark. science. So with one of the, and civilization, of course, and with one lens breaking, that means there's still a connection to, to those things. It's not like he can't see at all. He can, he can, he can only see through one of them now, but that's what that means, that it's, it's, it's not gone, but it's disintegrating. And 
there is still hope. Why do you think Ralph, at the very end of that chapter, why does he call a meeting? Why does he storm off calling a meeting? What's he so mad about, do you think? He's mad that they didn't get rescued, and he's mad that Jack went off and did whatever he wanted. He's definitely mad about that, but even more so... Piggy's being bullied. More than that... Oh, he doesn't care about Piggy. He kind of doesn't really care no, about Piggy. But do you remember how um, we said that when he, when Jack was telling the story of the kill, the boys were just like all riveted to what he was saying and they were, they were jealous. Yes, and he sees it as a threat to his power. So by calling a meeting, he's reestablishing that he's the boss, he's in charge. So that's like his way of trying to hold on to his power because it's definitely being threatened and we can see that in this scene. All right, so that was it for this. I'm glad we didn't get broken up again. Um, any questions about it? Any comments about it? Oh, do you guys like this story? I yes. do. Yeah. Actually, my mom loved the story. She loved it when she was in middle school. Yeah, sure. people, She's people. She's gonna show me the movie after we're done. Yeah, movie. the movie I think has some differences in it. We, I watched the movie when I've taught it in the past and the movie- Most of them do. Not, yeah, not as good as the book for sure, but um, definitely after we're done, it would be interesting just to watch it and see what, maybe I'll, maybe I'll put the link to it on in LMS when we're done and you guys can watch it if you feel like it. When I read this chapter, I thought they drank salt water and that was going to be like the conclusion to the end. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Like, they, the like we find out they were drinking salt water or something. The whole time, yeah. Right. <laughs> um, who, who wanted to say something? I heard my name. You want to see what I did when you got disconnected? Okay. You gave yourself a... <laughs> da, 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 da. Oh. <laughs> da, 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 da. <laughs> oh. So next week, it's chapters five and six. So um, be ready for that next Friday. And anything else, you guys? I mean, is anybody... We want to bring up anything about the work that we have or school in general or... <laughs> you wrote a typo in the email. Again. Dang, you're the linguist arts teacher as well. <laughs> I know. I know. Okay. Break time. She's human too. At least I caught it. Yeah. I proofread it, and then, I, like, as it was sending, I saw it, and it was too late. So. Trying to talk um, for the past. Okay. So anybody... It's my birthday. Yeah, I know. Does anybody it's else? Oh, it's this darn thing. It's so terrifying. Are we back? It has like space on his face or something. Bit. Right back. All right. So how are you guys doing at the end of week three of being quarantined? What do you think? Oh, yes. Terrible. Tired. Yeah. Like it. It's getting more boring, isn't it? It's so unhealthy oh, not to be outside. Until 10. Go outside. You can definitely Ram. go outside. I know, but like, you hear me? it's just complicated yes. for me. Then you it would really is. Walk down my street and yes. You can hear me? Yes. yes. Thank God. I've been trying to talk for this. Was that Chloe? Hey, Chloe. <laughs> I've been trying to talk the entire meeting. And oh, was... you might have been on mute. It, it, you know how you, did you unmute mute. yourself? I wasn't on mute. Uh, oh, that's weird then. I don't know. It, it definitely had to click weird today. The thing that said add like audio. And, yeah, you have um, to click like yeah. 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 join call with audio. I've been screaming hello for the past like 20 minutes. And I had to do it twice for some reason. Hey, Salvatis, I see you now. Miss Karen, I made it to one of your meetings. Who said that? Chase. Chase? Afro Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Chase, you made it to one of my meetings. Thank you. So did I. And I turned in like six assignments yesterday. I know you did. Yeah, that's great. So do you guys understand now that that June 1st date does not mean you have until June 1st to do your work? No, I think yeah, a lot of people really that. fell behind the first, the first couple of weeks because of that. So I'm glad oh, Mickey uh, clarified it. I think we all knew that. Cough, cough, we just didn't mean. want to do anything. Uh, yeah. That's what I think. That's what I think. <laughs> all right. Yeah. Um, Would I get on my essay? Oh, I don't know offhand, Karen. I'd have to. I'm, oh, let me just let me say something about that. So I am not putting grades in quickly like I normally do because I have yeah. so much work like dribbling in here and there. And once I put it in, then I have to, it's like a going back thing. All right, I'm going to take five. <laughs> it's a lot. So if you don't see a grade in, it's because I haven't put it in yet. Oh, uh, you darn connection. All right, I'm going to end the meeting, cool, guys. No, no. Goodbye.